And like you said, the demos always work. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> oh, this is this is the demo of how the reverse works better than the forward. Oh yeah, we could try reversing the re reversing the roll around there. <laughs> Hi, center. We may need to take a few things out of the backpack for this one. Or somebody have a smaller bag. <laughs> Your wheels don't have the uh, detail and worst code like the real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it doesn't. Uh, that's that's something they uh, uh, they're not doing for the Mars 2020 rover, which is what these wheels are actually modeled after. Oh, Saucy, you're making me sad. <laughs> it's so All right, that's dinner. Oh, your backpack is much like the Mars yeah. Yeah. This is true. Uh, uh, so one thing, one thing the uh, um, the the, um, uh, the, uh, the JPL open source rover can do it. They love demonstrating it climbing over a concrete curb, so it's on the sidewalk. And uh, Sophie can't climb a concrete curb onto a sidewalk. And my defense is that there are no there are no concrete sidewalks on Mars either. So it should be fine. <laughs> What? What material did you end up going with for your 3D printed parts? Uh, so most of what you see here is PEPG. So earlier res was PLA. It was easy to print. It was fast, but it's sensitive temperature. Mm -hmm. One of my outings was uh, a demonstration with, and it was outdoors in, in the summer, and the PLA started softening. Oh. And so by the end of the day, uh, the wheels were oval. And as, as, as the car started rolling on even ground, you can see the suspension moving as if it's on rough terrain, even though it's really just uh, uh, these oval wheels.